everyone and welcome back to base series. Today we will have a look at The Higher Ground from Red Hot Chili Peppers. As you probably already know, this song is originally written by the great Steve Wonder, but got quite popular after the Red Hot Chili Peppers covered it. And I think the slap bass part is taking a huge part of this song's success. There is also a slap bass version very similar to this one by Marcus Miller, so if you haven't checked that out, make sure you do that as well. First thing we will have a look at is the feel of the song. We will play that song with a triplet swing feel. First, let's count triplets. We will divide a bit into three parts and we will count them as 1 and a, 2 and a, 3 and a, 4 and a, 1 and a, 2 and a, and so on. When you see the triplet field sign on the notation, instead of counting 1 and a, 2 and a, you will count first two notes together. So, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, a, 2, a, 3, a, 4, a, instead of 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, a, two, a, three, a, four. Okay, when we have a look at the line, first four notes of the line are eight notes. So instead of playing them as eight notes regularly, we will play them with a swing feel, with a triplet feel. So instead of playing, we will play as. Try to get the feel of it instead of counting. Once you get that, it kind of flows. It's quite easy. So let's dig deeper into the line. We will start with two eight note open strings, open E strings. We will play that with the swing feel, of course. Then we'll play the octave with the second fret of the D string with our next finger. I'm also muting with my thumb as I play that second fret with my next finger. I'm muting that open E with my index. I'm sorry, with my thumb. After that, you will play another open E string. Then we'll play an octave at the third fret of the E string, G and A, with regular triplets. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. lower octave, one higher octave. Two slaps, one pop on the triplet side. One, two, three, one, two, three. Notice that the second part, the triplet part, is always triplets. We are not trying to add any swing feeling to it. Next time we play that line, when we get to the A, the fifth fret, we play one slap, one pop, one slap. From top. There are also two fills on that line. First one is sliding from the third fret to the fifth fret, then playing the seventh fret. Okay. Slide to the fifth fret, then the same fret, then fifth fret again. Third fret and open the string. Again, we play that with a swing feel, of course. Second fill is we slap the fifth fret of the A string, then the fourth fret, then we play the seventh fret of the E string with our pinky, fifth fret with our middle finger, then third fret with our next finger. This whole song is based around that slap bass part. There is actually one or two chord changes after we get that right. 
So when you get the swing feeling right, when you got those triplets, when you get that slap and pop feeling right, it will be quite easy for you to play the rest of the song. All right, that's it for now. If you want the backing tracks or written guitar profiles, or maybe if you want to just support the channel, you can do that on my Patreon page. Thanks for watching. See ya.